My name is Aditya Neerje. I am a student currently residing in Chennai. I have been part of Akash Baiju since 2021 when I joined a two-year program, hybrid program for JE Mains in Advanced 2023. I was first introduced to Akash Baiju by a cousin who completed his JE Mains in ex- uh, Advanced examination two years before I started my trip with JE preparation. Akash was and is a very prestigious institute for JE preparation, which was what prompted me to take up their entrance exam. One of the main factors motivating me to take up Akash Baiju was the fact that their hybrid program was easily the best in India and um, the fact that when I took up um, JE preparation it was the height of the pandemic and it would likely have been online for a f- quite a few years. It was in 7th grade when I displayed an aptitude for fiddling around with the machines at home and that is when I decided to pursue engineering and pursue my passion. Aptitude for programming I think I inherited from my father and that inspired me to take up um, CS in college. In preparing for any major examination like the JEEs, it's very important to keep a timetable every day and to stick to it. If you decide to study or revise a few chapters in a particular day, do not procrastinate but rather cover it thoroughly within that day even if it takes a little while into the night. Um, it's also important that you cover as many previous year questions as possible because a lot of questions delve around the same concept which has been covered in previous year questions. The final test series helped me immensely in my preparation by exposing me to concepts which I found had come surreptitiously in the JE mains and pre- other competitive exams I've attempted over the past year. In addition, the final test series helped me review my performance in comparison with toppers from across the nation which gave me confidence and also prevented me from being flustered or feeling overburdened when a few difficult questions did come in the final examination. Make ample use of the doubts clearing facility because if you get doubts cleared as and when they arise or at least within the same day, it boosts your confidence and doesn't leave you with lingering doubts whether you have completely studied a lesson or whether you have missed important parts of it. As much as possible, don't leave out parts of a chapter or parts of your module feeling that it won't be an important part of an e- examination because a lot of questions come from nooks and crannies of the NCRT textbook of the modules which if you have revised it's going to definitely help you. Around a month before the JE mains examination I fell sick and this impacted my studies for a period of about 3-4 days. Um, the teachers at Akash regularly followed up on my health advising me on sleep schedules especially to avoid tiring myself out which I also later applied in the run up to the examination so that I wouldn't tire myself out if I got a morning shift. Um, My parents also helped me a lot at home, atmosphere was free from distractions and that I could focus on my studying even if I wasn't feeling the best and later on helping ensure that I didn't fall sick closer to the examination and that my health was a good spirits. The support of my teachers at Akash Baijus was really integral to my performance in JE mains. They were always ready to provide support, to provide advice, to clarify any doubts and also recommend books to pursue for more problem solving. Uh, when two groups are in GOSH, one group is in anti. Yes. It will always be one of the DL pair and elimination of that will give cis isomer. To be honest, uh, my performance and success in both examinations can definitely be credited to their undying support. Don't get distracted easily, just focus on the question at hand, solve it as quickly as possible. In the run up, um, Practice solving questions as quickly as possible because that's one major feature of recent examinations is that the paper has been lengthy and that's what deters many students from attempting more questions. Practice uh, previous year questions because that will help you uh, reduce your speed in solving the same type of questions. For chemistry and physics, focus on the NCRT textbook as well. Make sure you have a line by line thorough knowledge of what's there in the NCRT textbook and then focus on the modules which is arguably more important. but both need to be covered thoroughly. Thank you and all the best for your own examinations.